Hey guys, it's TJ. Welcome back to my channel, Wake Your Face Beauty. So really quickly in today's video, I am going to show you how my sister created this beautiful masterpiece for me. All I had to do was give her the colors and my design idea, and she was able to execute this flower wall, I mean, just beautifully. So if you all are interested in seeing how she put this together, please continue to watch. Okay guys, so to start off with, we purchased four white foam boards from Dollar Tree. And the spray paint that we use is from the Krylon brand and we picked it up at Walmart. And this is in the color Satin Beach Glass. And so moving outside to our back porch, my sister began to spray each board individually. And it was a bit windy outside and my sister doesn't recommend that you spray paint when it's windy because you lose so much product but we were so just ready to get the project started that we couldn't wait and there's the first board completed beautiful so yes we're just going to speed through the other boards but I, I wanted to incorporate in the video this portion as well, just so you all can see just what she did. Yeah guys, so here are all four boards completely done. And these are the boards after about 40 minutes after they had been spray painted. And so we let them sit for an additional 24 hours before moving to the next part. And so after 24 hours, my sister took a silver glitter glue and top coated each board with this glitter glue. And this glitter glue was purchased at Walmart. I will have a full list of everything used in the description box down below. And so we really just wanted to build a foundation with the boards as opposed to just sticking the flowers directly onto the white boards. We wanted the boards to have a, a color in the background as well. Yeah guys, so here are all four boards completed. Once again, we let this set to dry for 24 hours before moving on to the next part. And after about 24 hours, we began to tape the boards together.
and the boards are all taped down. Here are all four of them put together. And so now we're just going to move on to the next step. And that would be taping down the fairy lights. You all, I got the fairy lights that came with the remote control. I didn't get the ones that are battery operated. And I purchased these on Amazon. And once again, I will leave the link down below. The tedious part about this was unraveling the fairy lights. But just take your time. And here are the boards with the lights completely taped down and the lights on. And now my sister begins the process of gluing each rows one by one and to do that she just drills a hole in the whiteboard coats the area with hot glue and just pops that rose right in its place And here are the white roses followed by the mint roses and she just turned the lights on once again just to make sure that they were working yeah guys so this is the finished result we actually decided to hang this on my backdrop stand and so in total the measurements came out to be 59 inches in width and 40 inches in length yeah guys so that is it for this video i hope you all found it very very helpful especially for those of you who desire to create your own flower wall i hope that you will use this video as a guide when you create your own once again thank you to my sister for creating such a beautiful work of art this is something that i will have for a long period of time thank you to each and every one of you for tuning in to this video a complete list of everything used will be listed down in the description box and i look forward to seeing you all in the next video Bye, guys.